join the 28 hour SQL Server Masterclass on the Udemy platform for only $15 instead of $89. Learn how to become a future developer or either a future DBA or performance expert on SQL Server with 150 exercises. Average rating for this course is 4.5. Okay? The link to the promotion is in the video description. Okay? Want to get started on SQL Server? Then join me! Date add and date diff. Date add will happen uh, a value, a specified number as a signed integer. Okay? Uh, add the specified that part. Okay, the syntax is date had with date part number and following the date. Okay, let's write the first uh, query with the date had, date had, following the parenthesis. For example, I will write the month, okay, comma and one following one for the number and the date okay we we have for example 20, 20 21 uh, 0 8 13 okay and we close the parentheses if i want the query um we see that it it added a month okay zero eight thirty and now it's zero nine thirty for the September we can add also for example two days by adding today so the query is select date had day Okay, uh, the number two in my following column, date of birth, and from my favorite table, contact. Okay, let's run this query, and you can see in the second column it had uh, the two day uh, zero four uh, August, sorry, and now it's zero six. 0, 2, 0, 4, okay? So, it's uh, had in my second column the today. We can do a lot of things with the date. We can do, for example, um, we can do a date had and a date diff, date diff in the same query. Okay, for example, in this example, it's date had with the date diff for the first day of term. Okay, let's run this query and you can see that it's 0, 1 for the first day of the term. Okay? So let's run the following query, the last day of the term for the 41. Okay? And the first day of the current term, okay, for the one journey. Today we, it's the 22 February, so the first day of the current term in the one February, one January. Sorry, okay, and the first day of the following term with the plus one. Okay, I think you understand. It's the the one April. Okay. Okay, let's play. We can go further. We can get with the six query. We can get the first day of the last week, the first day of the week, the first day next week, the last day of the last week, the last day of the week, and the last day of the following week. Uh, week, sorry, and uh, we can play the six query in the same time. You can see that the request 
it's a bit complicated. Okay, you can, don't forget to download in the course uh, this script. Okay, so keep them. So let's run this six query in the same time, and you have six different different results. Okay, first day last week, first day of the week, first day next week. You can see that it's very powerful. The, the function date that add is very powerful. Okay, so next function date diff. Date diff uh, returns the number of values, okay, uh, of a specified start date limit crossings uh, between the specified start date and end date values, okay. So if we do, for example, date diff with the hour, okay. Uh, with 9 and 11, I think you understand. Uh, so here it returns a difference of two hours. You can see that it's very powerful between 9 and 11. So the result is 2. Okay? So here it Understand that the diff that there is that there is sorry a difference of two hours. You can also do a day diff of month. We replace the hour with the month. Okay. And it returns the same result for the month. So you can uh, you can do a lot of things with the day diff. Uh, here, for example, the result is minus eight. Okay, first September and the uh, no sorry nine September nine January sorry and the first January. So the result is minus 8 for the day and following the next query for example if i take it uh, the 2 january and the 1 january so the result is 1 you can do a lot of things with the date diff and the date hand it's very powerful Okay, so let's go to the next demonstration.